If you are a patient and looking to import a medicine which is not available in India, this video is just for you. Hi, I am Pratik Ravjiani from Plan My Treatment Services and I am going to help you get access to those medicines which are not available in India. In this video, I am going to tell you about the entire procedure, how we can import the medicine and at a best price for you. With over a decade years of experience with dealing in patients, we, we came to know that a lot of patients came to us saying that we want this medicine but this is not available in India. How can we import it? Now to bridge this gap, we came out with a new service called Name Patient Management Services. Yes, Name Patient Management Services. In this service, what we do is we connect our patients to the authorized suppliers across the country, maybe in US, Canada or Europe and we try and get the best possible price for them. So now to understand this, let me tell you how we do this. First, as soon as we come across a patient who, is, who needs a medicine which is not available in India, first we ask for the prescription copy. Once we get the prescription copy, we check the molecule name, their strength, dosages and everything. Once that is received, we share it with our overseas suppliers in US, Canada, UK or Europe to find the best possible price for the patient. Once the prices are received, we share it with the patient. The patient, once approval is received from the patient, then we start with the main procedures. Now, what is that main procedure? Now, there are two very important documents which are needed if you want to officially import any medicine to India. The first one is import permit and second is duty exemption certificate. What is import permit? Import permit is a document which states that you're taking permission from the government of India to officially import that particular product. If you don't have this document, you won't be allowed to import any product to India. The second document is the duty exemption certificate. Now, what is this duty exemption certificate? You people might be knowing that whenever any product is imported to India, there is a custom duty which is levied on it. Now, it goes up to 300% at times depending upon product to product. So, if the patient has this document, you know, on submitting this document, there would be no custom duty which will be applied on the product and that will be like a benefit to the patient import permit now to obtain the import permit what we need to do first thing we need to log on to sugam portal put all the patient details ensure that we mention the name of the medicine correctly ensure all the relevant documents are uploaded correctly through the system and then we'll receive an application number that application number needs to be stored very carefully because that will be the reference number which has been provided by the government now, moving on to this next part is the CDEC form. What is the CDEC form? CDEC form is the duty exemption certificate which needs to be given from government of India so that no custom duty has been levied on the product. For CDEC form, we need seven documents from you. First is the CDEC application form. Second is the prescription copy. Third is the HCP letter. Fourth is form 12 and form 12B. Fifth. It's the last three months PET scan or the reports which are available with the patient. Sixth is the Arogya form and the seventh is the patient personal details. These are the seven documents which are required to obtain the CDEC form. Everything needs to be filled up in a very proper way which matches the patient history and then needs to be submitted manually at Arogya Bhavan. Once these documents are manually submitted at the Aryoga Bhavan, after verification of all the documents, the authority issues a CDEC form to us and then that needs to be created in a file. Once both the documents are received, then we ask the patient to make an overseas payment into the supplier's account. Once the payment is realized, the product is dispatched on the next working day. Once the medicine is received in India, all the original documents are handed over to our clear and forwarding agent, the CNF agent. And then my CNF agent will collect all the original documents from it, get the consignment cleared and get it delivered to you after paying the GST, applicable GST on the same. And that's how the entire procedure gets over. It takes about 15 working days for us to complete the entire procedure. In case you have any queries regarding any medicine, be it imported or Indian, please get in touch with us and we'll give you all the information. Our email ID and phone number is given below. Thank you so much for watching this video.